Okay, I think we're live. I think we are live. Danny Dubois versus, is it Richard Latte or Emmanuel Latte? No, we'll see. Uh, Latte, Starbucks. Okay, I think we're live. I think we are live. Danny du Yeah. My mic sounds crisp, doesn't it? I don't know why it sounds so crisp recently. Okay. It reminds me a little of um, Howard Eastman with that beard, doesn't he? Cuts a unique looking figure. He's in great shape. Aesthetically. Aesthetically. But can he fight? Okay. Daniel rocks his head back with a jab straight away. Daniel's a lot bigger. Daniel's going for the kill straight away, man. Daniel don't hang about. He wants to put this guy in his place. Oh, he's hitting big shots. He better keep his chin down. His chin is high up in the air, man. Man, you need to keep that down, bro. You need to get you need to tuck that shit in. When you throw your punches, man. Ah. Well. He um he kept out of the way of the, the, the opening rush. He's still here. <laughs> He's gonna last more than a minute, I think. Dubois saw if he could um had a look to see if he could get him out quick. Can this guy come back with his own counters and make Dubois pay for being a little reckless? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, they're locked up like two stags in the middle of the ring. Latte testing Dubois' strength. Dubois testing Latte's strength. How strong is Latte? He looks a little smaller than Daniel. In great shape, though. Hmm. He says the United Kingdom is scared of him. A lot of stake for Daniel Dubois. They've just signed Joe Joyce. He wants to keep himself at the top of the pecking order of Frank Warren heavyweights. Okay. Oh, he's getting his head knocked back by Jabs Latte there. Not a good sign for him. Good jabs by Daniel Dubois. Doubled him up there. Not very defensively sound is Latte. He's been stopped already, though, by a Swiss heavyweight who was undefeated, but seemed to disappear after he defeated Richard. Literally seemed to disappear. Latte tied him up and, turn, and spinning him there. Turning him, I should say. Good stuff. Needs more of that. Daniel went with the left hook to the body as they clinched. No free hands. The referees encouraged him to fight out of the clinch here. Nobody wants to free their hands. And now he's broke them. He warned Latte for something. All right. 27 seconds in round one. Sloppy right hand from Daniel. Needs to sharpen up his jab a little. Daniel is a little reckless. Tucking up well now, Latte. Okay, he's fighting inside well with them little right uppercuts. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Yeah. With the free hand. Caught a right to the body himself, though. Backed off. Round over. Now, that was a good round. For a decent pace. Yeah. Dubois, 20, what is it, 2 or 21, built like the Incredible Hulk. How old is Richard Latte, actually? I'm not too sure. That's a good question. Hmm. Good round. Good round. Good round. Well, is he here for the long haul? Is he a little better than advertised? What's Dubois' trainer's name? Do I know him? I'm not too sure. I'm trying to recognize him from that angle there. Good body attack by Dubois there. Interesting round, man. For a nice pace. Now, can Latte keep this going? This is um, different to Kingpin Johnson, who stayed on the offensive. Latte actually tried to work with the free hand when they were clinched. He tried to work. He's not coming here for a, a defensive display. I mean, a display of defense. He's coming here to try and win. 
can Daniel knock some of that ambition out of him? He's using his feet pretty well, actually, Latte. His chin is still a bit high up in the air when he throws that jab. Oh, look at the chin exposed there. Is he hurt? Yeah, he looks hurt. He looks a bit rubbery. He's clinching. Looks a bit rubbery. He caught, some, caught, something. He caught something from Daniel. Look at his right arm locked up. Needs to be. Time out. He's warning Latte for clinching. It looks like there. Doesn't want to get thrown out. We've seen boxers get thrown out recently. Cash Chally, 10,000 pound fine. Oh, good shots by Daniel. He's too open. What's the matter with him? What's he doing? Is it a low shot? He's complaining about a low shot. He's going to warn Daniel about the low shot. Is he going to take longer than Amir Khan did, or is he ready to go? We shall see. Is he taking advantage of the rest? Yeah, he's got five minutes. No boxer. I don't remember in history a boxer taking the five minutes. Yeah, well, it was on the foul proof protector. Yeah, it was a little low. It was a little low. It was a little low. Oh, did he catch Danny with a right hand? Did he catch Daniel with the right hand there? Daniel backing up. Why is Daniel back? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, he's catching Daniel with a few jabs now. Daniel missing wildly. Okay. He needs to time that right hand. That'd be interesting to see if it if, if something crashes off. Dubois chin. He is neglecting the jab, Daniel. There, he's just swinging in and swinging. He threw some nice stiff ones in the first round. He's going back to it a little now, as he needs to. Everything off the jab. Oh, great right hand. How does Latte stand up to that? Does he stand up? I don't think he can, man. Like Dubois is so strong. He's just shelling up right now. Nothing coming back. You know, I don't think you, you can continually take Daniel's right hands. I think he hits that hard. I think he hits that hard. Not square. You have to ride them. You have to um, nullify them at least with the gloves, block them partially at least, you know, and come back with your own counters to deter from throwing them so much. Latte on the defense, though, it looks like he's trying to, um, wake himself back up, wake some strength back into his legs there. Little tentative jab out of range. Daniel coming forward needs to keep front. Don't throw wild like that. You see, what I mean, you should, you should, you know I mean, through the stick, should have threw the stick there. But the round ended, he didn't get hit with nothing. Okay, I don't think the slow motion is going to go back to. That part in the round where I think he got hit with a right. Didn't he get hit with a right? It looked like he did. He went back for a little while and got caught with a few jabs. Let's have a look. There's the low punch. Great body shot by Daniel. Left hand to the body in the replay. Okay. More slow motion replays. There it is. There it goes. Right on the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Daniel. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you felt that in it, Daniel. On the side of his cheek, he caught one. That's the best punch he's took as a pro. Yeah. Yeah, you felt that. that, that Daniel felt that, bro. Daniel felt that. There it goes. There it goes. Good right hand. Mm. Not a bad test. Not a bad test. Not a bad test. Huh. Oh, latte. Left hand now. The left hand coming into play. Getting hit himself with jabs, though. This is a very interesting contest. Two ambitious heavyweights here. Latte. Oh, left hand. Daniel kept his left hand, his, his own right hand, just high enough to block it. Looked like a good shot, though. Yeah. So he's, he's got both hooks to worry about. Latte throwing them from both channels, man. So Daniel has to think a bit about defense rather than just, I'm going to wade in there. And bulldozed them over. It worked against Kajanu, and it was impressive. But 
There's way more to the heavyweight game than just bullish strength, and he's finding that out there, you know? Latte had visa problems, but he's here. A good body shot by Latte with a left hand. Beautiful shot. Daniel comes back with a right hand. His own punch is looking a bit sluggish now, getting pushed back onto the ropes. Right. Daniel, um, Latte clutching again. He's holding. Was he hurt again? Why is he clutching so excessively? Is he hurt? I think he's hurt. The referee's going to admonish him here. Yeah. He's probably going to get himself thrown out. Obviously, he was hurt. I didn't see what hurt him. Oh, great shots by Daniel. Brilliant shots. Oh, they're slugging it out. Oh, they're slugging it out. Daniel's hurt. Daniel's hurt. <laughs> Daniel's hurt. Daniel got caught. Oh, beautiful stuff. Damn, Daniel. This is a great fight. This is a great fight. <laughs> Well, it's not a great fight, but it's better than what I expected it was going to be. Oof. Great jab by Latte. Left hand by Latte. Daniel not so um, keen to steam in right now. Keeping a healthy distance. Keeping a healthy distance. Ah, Latte leaning away from that right hand. Clinching again. Stamina issues, is it with Velarte? Is it stamina issues? It looks like it. And it looks like that's going to let him down. Looks like that's going to let him down. The stamina. He clinches with for, for dear life. Daniel look, looking for the rest. He keeps punching. Can he get his... Oh, he sticks his tongue out, Latte. Cheeky. Cheeky. That was a great exchange, though, man. That was a great exchange. He caught Daddy with something. I want to see the slow motion replays again. The punches went in so quick, it was hard to catch what, what, what landed and what didn't. Latte making a very entertaining Saturday. His cornermen waving their hands, bellering, making all types of gestures. They're getting excited. They're getting into it. Can they revive him? Is he going to get a second win? Is Daniel going to bulldoze him? Whoa, good stuff. Excellent stuff, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay, here's the replay. Oh, great left hook by Daniel. Too wild, though, Daniel. Oh, look at that left hook. Right hand. Oh, look, he's dead. Daniel's getting fried up. Daniel got caught in a one-two, bro. Rocked him. <laughs> Rocked him. And he hurt, you see? And that's after he hurt Latte. What an exchange! <laughs> Whoop! Damn! Oh! Hey, this is heavyweight slugfish, boy! Woo! Frank Ward! This is Frank Ward, ain't he trying this fire? Oh! Beats needed to calm down. Beats needed to calm down. Beats is standing up watching this now, people. That That's how vital it is. Beats is standing up. Daniel digs a beautiful right to the body. Can he follow her up? I think he's got Latte hurt. Yes, he has. Latte looking on rubber legs. Can he swing in heavily? Is he going to catch Daniel with one of them hooks? Daniel's still reckless. Daniel's still reckless. Yes, this fight has revealed more about Daniel Dubois than his previous nine or ten opponents have. The defensive frailty is all there to see. Right uppercut by Daniel. They're both tired. Daniel's tired. Daniel leaning on a little because he hasn't clinched. He just punched and punched. The only rest he's got is when he's got hurt. Latte just covering up now, though. This, this can't be healthy for him. Can't be healthy. He really doesn't want to just cover up with a hitter like Daniel. Throwing bombs on him at the ropes. He doesn't want to do that. He's come back into the ring center with his hands down. He's looking for a counter, trying to lure Daniel in. Daniel steamed in. Latte couldn't get the timing on the counter. You know, two back. Oh, he's looking for that left hand. Daniel's going to get caught again. Is he? I mean, he clipped him a little. Oh, 
Oh, he's down. Latte is down. Latte is down. And it's over. This one is over. He's hurt really badly. Great stuff by Daniel Dubois. Yes. And he waved it off. Daniel Dubois wins an exciting, what's this? Third or fourth round stoppage over, was it, it Richard Latte? Woo! Yo. Enjoyed it, Daniel. I enjoyed that fight. I enjoyed that fight. He goes to congratulate his opponent. What shape is Latte in? Did, did he um, protest the stoppage? Not sure if he did. Was it stopped a little early? You think, guys? Not too sure. Not too sure. Could have been a bit early. Wow. What got him down? What, what, what finished it? Damn, man. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Damn, I'll get back to I'll get back to you guys in a minute, man. Yeah, Kama, I think it was early. I think it was a, I think it was a bit early. <laughs> Here we go. Short left hand got him down. I'm looking at the stoppage. Okay. Oh, they're both swinging. They're both swinging. It wasn't much of a punch, but I think he's so dead tired. Anything, I mean, would have put him over at that stage there. Wasn't much of a shot. I think he was about finished there, but it looked it looked a little early, but, you know. Yeah, man. SSB28, what's up? Taka Tassetti, what's up, Beats? Yeah, man. Juro, you're not getting in. Tone, what's up? Shiz Biz, big up beats. Yeah, man. Shiz Biz, should be a good scrap. It was. Joyce in the crowd. Wow. Almost spun him round. He's, he's looking at the action, Shiz Biz. Tone, says beats for punches. Yeah, I was getting into that one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's over. It's over. Binks, wow. Good time to come in. No doubt. No doubt. That, that was a little exciting, man. You know? Early stoppage has camera cop in 09. He said it's too late. But no need to rush the Joyce fight. But they made their bed on that one. Is that still going ahead? I'm not even sure if that's going ahead. Tell you what, Daniel. That was a, that was a big exciting, man. The fight there, you know, was a little exciting. Maybe a little too. Richard Latte. Richard Latte. You made it exciting. You know, but your defense and your stamina let you down a little. And a little chinny, obviously. Good physique, strong guy. But the bulldozer tactics won over. I tell you what, bulldozer tactics are going to get Daniel Dubois knocked out as he steps up. That I can tell you that now. Bulldozer tactics will get you knocked out. Yeah. This guy's in serious shape, boy, Richard Lyon. The physique is, is amazing. <laughs> Damn. And he put up a battle, man. He put up a battle. Whoa. I think Frank Warren will be the most relieved man, even more than Daniel Dubois. After that one there. He's 6'5". Is he taller than Daniel? I thought he got 77 inch reach. Daniel's 6'5". Daniel's just a lot bigger, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, he weighed in 238. Daniel, I believe, where... Um, no, he weighed in at what did he weigh in? Two four two forty one. Is it two forty one? Two forty one. Wow, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was a good fight, man. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Excellent fight. Some great, great exchanges. Best Daniel Dubois fight so far. Cop in 09. Dubois' biggest problem is his youth. He gets a rush of blood, which will probably get him knocked out. Yeah, he's just um just so determined to knock someone out. And I think um some of it is nerves. He's obviously learnt to box more than that. You know, you would have thought from his amateur experience and pro experience. But I mean, he, he like you're saying, he gets that rush of blood and then he starts to panic a little. You can see he was blindly just throwing shots, hoping to get lucky. And he, he got he got caught. He got caught, man. You do that against a Lewis Ortiz. I'm going to say Ortiz, a southpaw, is clever and knows how to counter. He's getting knocked out. But if he lands on Ortiz, I, 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 don't get me wrong. If he lands on Ortiz, he's probably going to bludgeon him on the canvas. If he lands on AJ or Wilder, he'll bludgeon them to the canvas if he lands heavily because he's a really big, strong guy. But there's more to it than this, you know? If he lands on Fury, clean, or any, any of them, they'll go out. They'll go, or they'll get hurt really bad. But will he will he get there? Will he get the, get the chance to throw them bombs? You know? Wow. That was interesting. That was interesting, man. Yeah. I think his name is Aggie, man. He's asking, what's up? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, man. Well, listen, man. That's over for this fight here. And um, there's some boxing later. And I'll be back. I will be back for that. If you guys are still around, I will be back for that. But yeah, man. Fourth round TKO for Daniel Dubois. And it's Richard Latte. Who is, how old is Richard Latte? Uh, no birth, <laughs> no birth date. <laughs> I mean, the brothers of the continent, man, they're, they're a bit, they're, they're, they're a bit um, no, notorious for that. No birth certificate. <laughs> Don't bring no birth certificate. I don't know how old he is. But status is birth name, nationality. He's, he's Ghanaian. His debut, division, height. Reach, residence, birthplace, Ghana, no date of birth. No date of birth. No date of birth. Yeah, we know Daniel is um, 21. See if we can find his date of birth, Richard Lai, man. We've got a clue how old he is. We've got a clue. Yeah, man. Two for he actually weighed in more than Daniel Dubois. Or did he? One sec. Waiting two thirty-eight, didn't he? No, he wait. Yeah, he waited at two forty-one. Dubois waiting at two thirty-eight and a half. Yeah. He actually waited more than Dubois, but it's just phew. wow. <clears throat> One sec. Let's see if we can find his age. If his birth, birth birthday ain't there on Vox Rec, I, I doubt it'll be there. Um, let's see. He's only 21 years of age. That's Daniel Dubois. Richard. Let's put it. Let's see. <clears throat> Martin Bacoli is the same. His age is a bit of a mystery as well. He's got that mysterious age. Richard Latte fight page. Let's have a look. If it turns anything up. Nope. Not available. Age and date. Not available. Nope. <laughs> Here's what it is. I think they get their information from Box Rex. So what use is that? Well, Oh, is he twenty? Right, Richard Lai, a pro player profile. 
player profile. What year was that though? Date of birth. No, that's that's a footballer. That's a footballer. A midfielder. Yeah, different guy. Attacking midfielder. <laughs> he's from he's got there though. Yeah. Unrivaled. Yeah, he says um he was two forty one, Dubois was two thirty eight. Seventeen stone free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. Du Dubois was seventeen stone and six ounces. Full of muscle as well, man. Like, you mean is he had the chin of flipping? Um, he had he had um the Billy Bombardier Wells chin, didn't he? Couldn't take a shot, man. And his his chin was too high up. The stamina was very suspect. So, you know, but nevertheless, you know his um his power, his power was enough to test my guy. You know. <laughs> yeah, man, that's impressive. Impressive. Must be related to Luis Ortiz. No birth certificate. Says Coffin. Three pounds difference. Yeah. Oh, he's twenty-seven. How'd you find that out then? Unrivaled. Oh, he's twenty-seven. Okay. Decent performance. I thought he's miles away from being a finished product, but he's. Definitely going to be fun to watch going forward. Who are we talking about? Daniel Dubois? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unrivaled. What's up, man? Yeah. Uh, let's, um, let's see if you've got anything to say on that, on, on that, on the fight before I close up. Interesting. That was interesting. I'm hearing voices coming from my computer and I've got nothing going. That's scary. I'm hearing voices. <laughs> okay. Man. Well, entertaining, man. I mean, that's, that, that's the heavyweight slugfest there, man. Heavyweight slugfest. He caught Daniel a couple of times, man. That, that, that right hand high up on the high, high end of his cheek. Uh, yeah, 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 da da Daniel get clapped, my man, boy, yeah, welcome to the pros, Daniel, you know, today, you know what we tell Daniel, welcome to the pros, welcome to the pros, bro, welcome to the pros, and you see, there's people who, I don't know why they, they, they like, I don't, look, this isn't me just, just randomly defending AJ, but this is heavyweight boxing, they keep saying, AJ's got a glass jaw. Listen, any heavyweight, any heavyweight in the history of the sport get hit, bang, on your high on your cheek or your chin, you're going to shit your legs. I'm going to do a little. It's a heavyweight division. These are 17, 18 stone guys who can bang, and they have long reaches with leverage and power behind the shots. I've seen Fury on the foot canvas a couple of times. I've seen what well, we know Wilder, Howard Scotty has put him on the deck. Luis Ortiz nearly had him out of there. Oh, like, there's no heavyweight who's not vulnerable. Ali was on the floor, nearly knocked out by Henry Cooper. Right? Larry Holmes against um, Ronaldo Snipes and Shavers. Nearly out. Out of it, bro. God knows how he survived. Ken knocked out how many times? Um, Foreman's been on the canvas. A, a number of times. The, the Ron Lau slugfest. And Ali put him on the deck. Yeah. This is heavyweight boxing, bro. This is heavyweight boxing. That's why you have to work hard on your craft. And Danny's got a lot of work to do, man. He really has a lot of work to do. Yeah? If you fought somebody with a better gas tank to the area, and a little bit of a better chin, because there, there's heavyweights with a better chin, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, if you're fighting someone like Latte in sparring or, or fighting and he catch you with him bump, he, he's, you can see he's a well-conditioned guy. He hits fucking hard. He can punch, right? If he catches you, he'll hurt you. He'll hurt you. 
Yeah. Nathan Gorman is probably going to have something to say about that. He said, he's going to say, see, well, you fight Latte then. And let's see how well you do. You know? <laughs> but it's hard to verify the standard of Latte's opposition there in Ghana. It, it's pretty hard. Yo, Unrivaled, what, what did you think of that, man? Interesting? Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, like I do think it was a decent performance to some extent. Like, he, he landed a lot of shots. He fought a lot more open than I was expecting to. Yeah. And he did really well going to the body. He did go to the body quite a lot, jab into the body, exchange him with, with him to the body. I felt like Dubois wasn't really worried about his power, but there was a couple of shots where Larity caught him. And he looked a little bit shook. His feet kind of like, his, his legs looked like they were shook. I feel this though if Larity had a little bit more power, a bit more heart, like came to actually fight. Because let's be real, he was in a shell most of the fight, man. Um, he could have given the ball more problems, but he he can't keep his chin up the way he did. He was like Ryan Garcia, the way he had his chin just sitting there to be swung at. Who's that latte? Yeah, 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 yeah. Latte. But, oh, no. All in all, it was I thought it was a good performance from Dubois, man. But like, I feel as though like if he was in there with somebody better, then that he could be in for a tough night. Oh yeah, listen, because that like somebody was saying on the hangout, oh, oh, does um Dubois need to be pushed further? I said, no, 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 no. I said this is a good opponent for him, and it was a good opponent. You you don't want to. He's only twenty one. It's only twenty one. Yeah, you you don't want to push him too far like that. You know, only twenty one. Like um. The fact he's already fought Kevin Johnson and a former world title contender as well in Kajanu, right? Who's fought with RTs and stuff. And he did better against Kajanu than those guys did. And he did better against Johnson than Gorman did and most guys did except maybe Joshua. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. He's shown that he's, he's really good. It, you'll see fans wanting to push him because we're into a day and age now where fans are like, this is going to sound fucked up to the fans, no offense. We're getting very greedy to some extent, because we're wanting fighters gone for world titles in their 13th, 14th fight. Like, I'm hearing people saying Tiafimo should be fighting Lomachenko or Comey. Well, what it is, is, is Joshua set, set, uh, um, he set a different bench for the modern-day heavyweight winning a belt in his 17th fight, hasn't he? he well, big time, yeah. That's yeah. very rare. That's exceptionally rare. Mm, so very rare. There's, there's only a couple of heavyweights in the history of the sport who've done that. Yeah, there's no only a few. I can't even think of them off the top of my head. I think Leon Spinks is the first that will spring to mind. Spinks is a good, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leon Spinks, obviously, yeah. So, but I can't really think of many others who've done it in pre 18 fights. No, not a heavyweight, not a heavyweight. Yep, yep, which is the division where the fighters have to be brought on a little slower to mature, you know. And we, we, we see, we saw that tonight, man, because like. You see, you, you, you never know with the head with it. Like, I remember Frank Bruno, they put him in with um someone with a physique like um what Latte had. Is it Jumbo Cummings? Who he, he actually um he drew with Joe Frazier in his last fight. And Cummings, like he was a gel, he was a he was an American guy, he was a, he like in gel and he was built like a tank. And he used to uh, I think he set bench pressing records in gel and stuff. And he caught Frank Bruno with that right hand over the top. And Bruno froze and the bell rang and saved him and saved him. And he came back and beat the guy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel like there's really big comparisons for me. People were making comparisons early with Joshua to Bruno. And I think they're different. But I see more comparisons with Dubois to Bruno than I do Joshua to Bruno. I see. I, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like, it's very strict, rigid, straight down. But he is, Dubois is quite stiff. I'll be honest. He is quite stiff. He needs to be more loose in there. It's like it's like he's trying to th overthink what, what shot he should do, and he's not as loose as he should be. He needs to start thinking of hit and not getting hit back. Pretty not, much, yeah. Yeah, not, I, I bang you and I bang you. No, 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 no. That that's not what a contender or prospect does in this game. Or you're just gonna get, you're gonna, you know I mean, you're gonna get found out, man. You're gonna get found out. You're gonna get found out. 
And against a fighter, let's say, like Joyce, which was mentioned heavily this week, yeah? Joyce yeah. is slow, but he hits, and he hits hard, and he has stamina. Yeah. And he comes forward. I don't know if Dubois can out-muscle Joyce. He wasn't really out-muscling Larty in, in clenches, and I, I don't think Larty is no, 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 you you're, you're, you're damn right. In some of the clinches, Latte was whacking him around with the with the free hand. He was whacking him back with the free hand. Yeah. Yeah. So like like I said, there's better heavyweights than Latte, better chins, better stamina. And like like you say, like a bit more um what was the word you like determination. A bit more determination. You know? And that that is going to be problems. Then it's going to be problems. There's certain guys, if they hurt you, that killer instinct, they start smelling blood, man. And it makes the fight very fucking difficult. You know? they get When they hurt you, they, they get that second win quickly. Oh, big time. Yeah. And look at Garmin. Garmin, he's stagnated, but he's got hands. And when he actually gets a fighter hurt, he goes in. It's the one thing I'll give him. He's got great predator instincts. Well, it's making me look at the fight a little bit. I still got um Daniel favorite, but Gorman's stamina is way better than this guy's here. Latte. He's got oh, yeah. better stamina. He's also got fast hands. He's got yeah. I think he's he might he might have better coordination than Latte, who was catching Dubois. He can also defend himself because even though we give like people give they're like always oh, stagnating, he's not getting better. Do you remember the last time that he was actually getting punched up, Nathan Gorman? I don't. I don't remember any time in his career where he was getting hit cleanly. Yeah, but he hasn't fought nobody offensively um, threatening at all, has he? Who has he fought, though? I mean, he did better against Sean Turner than Hergovic did. Yeah, yeah, okay, but Sean Turner. Sean Turner's a tough guy who comes forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Gorman just... Got onto the back foot, jabbed them, caught him with the right, jabbed them, caught him with the right, overhand, jabbed them, caught him with the right, and worked around them in circles, right? Whereas Hergovic actually came in to fight him. And by the end of the fight, Turner was landing triple jabs on Hergovic, which was crazy. Whereas Garmin was just absolutely dis dissecting him. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's see what Nathan, um, what what Nathan produces when he steps up, man. We'll we'll we'll, we'll await that. We'll await that, man. Maybe they all pretty much fought the same level of opposition, haven't they? No, I think Latte is better than most of the people that, apart from Kingpin Johnson, than 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 um. Well, they both beat Kajano. They both beaten Kevin Johnson. So, uh. yeah, but they've had different results though. Like Kajano. Took him the distance, didn't he? Like, yeah. I don't mean who did better. I mean they fought similar oh, level of Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Larty's Larty was wasn't the worst opponent in the world, honestly. For your what was that? The was tenth pro fight, eleventh. I think that was about his eleventh fight. Yeah, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst opponent. I mean, yeah. man, you can see by his physique, he, like strong. Physical, well, when I say physical, he can punch, he can hit. He can hit, man. Like the, the right hand what hit Daniel High up on the cheek, boy. He that hurt him. He was hurt. He was hurt. Not badly, not badly hurt, but you know. Took him up a little. Nothing wrong with that. Make him acclimatize to that heavyweight power a little. He's only Do you know who Joshua's eleventh opponent was? No. Jason Gavin. Okay. That's who Wilder fought before he fought for the title. Yeah. And J Kevin Johnson was his 13th. But if you look at Dubois in 10, he's already beaten Kevin Johnson. Yeah. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It, 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 I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think Frank Bruno is, I mean, Frank Warren is really going to put the brakes on him now, though, after this one. He's going to put the brakes on him. And um, there might be criticism for the next few opponents. I've seen his, his prospect shook a little in the ring. He, yeah, listen, he, he finished it well. It wasn't much of a punch, though. 
Was it a controversial stoppage or was Larte done? I think Larte... Larte, Larte didn't want any of it after that, man. And the way he went down was actually... I think the shot was more of a shot that, like, knocked him off balance, right? The first shot that caught and then the second, and then they kind of knocked him off balance. And the third, he kind of, like, just... His balance was already gone when that third hit him. And he went backwards and he was trying to get stay on his feet. And he went down heavily. I'm not talking hard, but heavy. It was like... He his body just hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, it looked so, like he was looking for his when, face to land. I mean, like, by the time the, the shot hit him, I think you you mean. I think when a man's on his knees trying to get up at two seconds and he gets up to his feet on the tenth second of the referee's count, the fight's yeah. over. That's pretty much him saying, "I want to finish on my feet, but can you end the fight?" Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Pretty much, man. Yeah. Well, it was good, man. It was good. A good, good little test. Good little test. But well, who does he fight next? Um, it won't be Joe Joyce. I'll tell you that now. No, it won't be. As much as I wish it was. Yeah. Because I'll be honest. Even if he loses to Joyce, by the way, he can come again. He's very young. Very, very young. Frank could do it. You know, he's got both of them on the roster, so it's not like um, you know, like he has the winner. He has the winner, and like, like you say, it's, it shouldn't be the end of the line for the loser necessarily, should it? It shouldn't necessarily be that. Well, it's more of a fight where if the Bois were to lose, he can come again easier than Joyce can because Joyce is thirty-two. Yeah, it's hard to come again at thirty-two yeah. after losing to a prospect. Whereas Dubois loses, he's losing to a guy who's a, an Olympic silver medalist who arguably won the the final. Have you you got a beef with Hamid? Ninety two. Yes. Oh, you do. Yes, big time. Yo, Hamid, don't bring it here though. Don't bring it here though, Hamid. I'm not bringing it here. I know, I know you didn't. I'm just telling you, Hamid, don't bring it here. I blocked him from my channel and everything from what he did in my channel last night. Yeah. That's be, that's between you and McGregor. That you, you shouldn't bring that. See, I mean, you're saying you say what you said there, but what you did there is what you're accusing him in because it's got nothing to do with me. I shouldn't right really be um be be um, privy to what you've got with him. You know, you should take that up with with the man himself, not be following him all, all around YouTube and other people's thing. That's not really um very healthy. And I think um if he wants to talk to me, he has me on Hangouts where he hasn't messaged me at all. Yeah, I don't know anyway, man. Let me read a couple of these. Um, let's see. How did you find out he was 27? Uh, BT Sport. Oh. Uh, they, they mentioned it before the fight. They showed the rages, 21 and 27. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Coppin 09, he says, Mark said, B, Dubois was behind Fraser Clark and probably a few others. He would not have gone to the Olympics. That's a good point. Marky Bayer, what's happening, man? Yeah, big up, big up, big up. Mark's MB at Coppin 09, I hear that, bro, but I still got a feeling Fish Eyes rushed him to the pros to eager for that AJ comparison. Marky Bayer, Dubois is stiff and slow, he says. Gets caught also. Yeah, he got caught a few times tonight. Coppin 09 at Mark's MB. Dubois rushed himself to the pros. If it wasn't for fish eyes, it would have been someone else. I mean, at 21, he shouldn't really be here right now. He should maybe um 2020 Olympics. I mean, they could easily start him as a pro at 22, 23. That'd have been the ideal year uh, age, in my opinion. 20 the 20 Olympics he should be he should be in the 20 Olympics, World Series of Boxing, gaining that muscle memory, that you know, I mean building his stamp. By the time 22, that'd have been a lovely age for him to turn pro. 22, an Olympics behind him, maybe even a bronze, silver, or gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. never know. And coming in at 22, 23, he'd be dangerous. Because mm -hmm. imagine him two years from now, how good he'd be if he was debuting like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cop in 09, he likes Sonny Edwards. I didn't like the, the, the dropping his hands. I wasn't comfortable with that. 
it's it's pretty exciting, but I'm not too impressed with it. 54 12 swan. What do you think of Sonny Edwards for route 54 12? What did you think? Um, I don't really like watching Sonny Edwards fight all that much, man. I find him boring. Okay. But he, he put on a decent performance, all in all. Like, he did what he's supposed to do. Yeah. He got the win. And that's it. I can't really talk too much about him, man. I just find him kind of... Eh, I prefer Charlie myself. Not, not your cup of tea. Not your cup of tea. Yeah. We all have different things. Sometimes we like it, sometimes we don't, you know? That's right. Yeah. 54 Trail Swan. Fury fans knowingly try and hide his failed PED tests and spread false rumor that he only ever did recreational drugs, but then get on the high horse when other boxers fail tests and call for a ban. Have you noticed he's been very quiet with the Miller thing? He hasn't said a word, has he? <laughs> I don't blame him. He shouldn't do. Who hasn't? Tyson Fury. <laughs> wow. Ah. Wow has had a lot to say. Fury ain't said nothing. Yeah. Mark MB, he replies to 54-12. I, I see it all the time. Most office workers talk down on herb smokers, while on the other hand, those same people will be doing fat dazzlines. Same as the people in the House of Parliament. Yeah, like, you know, me, be, being a, a herb man, well, I used to be, you know what I mean? I don't smoke no more, but, you know I mean? Like, when you hear people crit critiquing weed smokers and they drink, you're thinking, what the fuck are you, you mean? Alcohol has done way more damage in society than weed. Way more <laughs> weed. Maybe not the skunk. I don't, I'm talking about old school weed. No, the skunk shit. No, I mean, that's a different thing. But when you're talking about just grass, basic grass. Cop in 09. I'm probably in a minority. I do like Sonny Edwards. Yep. Yeah. Okay. A Obs. Once Joyce cracks Dubois' jaw, he won't be the same. You think so? Be a chin check. Yeah. Big chin check. Mm, oh man, yeah, yo guys, I'm gonna ask you to keep 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 um, the negativity between them two people off the channel. I mean, like you know, I'm gonna ask you to keep it off there, man. You know, I ask you to keep it off if you can, if you don't mind. I don't want to bring bring that bull crap over here, Mark M B. Yeah, I agree, Mots. Holler that stuff. Don't bring the BTFB energy over here. Positive energy only on the Boxing Beats and Rhymes channel. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. If we're debating and I think I'm in the right, you know me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and tear strips with you. But I won't allow anyone to be disrespected. You know what I mean? Be called out of their name like that. No, nah, not really. not really with that. That I'm not with. Not with it. Not with it. Don't bring that over here. Bring that. No. No. Yeah. Mark you by here. Don't bring it here. See, no, no one wants it here, Hamid. No one, and there's no disrespect to you, but nobody wants it here. I don't either. Yeah. If he has a thing he wants to say to me, he can say it to me, man. One of them ones. What's up, man? He says, What's up, peeps? What channels the Dubois fight on? Oh, that's gone, man. That's gone a long time, bro. <laughs> oh, God, man. Yeah, that was it's, on BT Sports and it's BT. over. It was on BT, though. Yeah, it was on BT. Yeah. Joyce beats Dubois easy, in my opinion. You see? One performance like that, and this is what they're saying. But uh, what, what, what if Latte was catching Joyce with them shots? You know what I mean? I think at this stage here, Latte hits harder than Stavern, and Stavern was catching my guy. Listen, we're, we're talking about Daniel's um, defensive deficiencies. Joyce has them. Joyce has limitations on defense too. And there's you know? one thing we know. There's one thing we know. We know that Joyce can be knocked out. We don't know if the ball can be. We have not seen it. That's true. That's true. We've so seen true. Joyce get knocked out by Cousin. Yeah. Dubois was calling out, according to 54 Trail Swan, was calling out Chizora. I think he thought Chizora was sweet. I see him right finish him. Yeah, probably did. I'll tell you one thing. 
Cesar yeah. might look sweet to some people because of his so-called bad performance against a completely negative fighter, right? Yeah. Um, I think he boxed well. I think if Dubois goes in there and tries to exchange with Cesar, he could be in for a very he'd dangerous get thing. He'd get knocked out. He'd get knocked out. He'd get knocked out. Derek, Derek would knock him out. Derek, listen. The Tardy Klitschko is a hard-hitting dude. This guy walked through my guy's shots and was pushing him back. And Vitaly was tired by the end of the fight. You can see. He, listen, that, that, what people don't remember. But, but, listen, do, 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 go look at Derek's logbook, bro. Derek rocked Tyson Fury twice in their first fight, and it was a very good fight. But Tyson won it clearly, but it was a good fight. Right? He rocked him twice. It went the distance. You could you can't put Derek Chisora in there with Daniel Dubois. It's just too experienced and too grizzled. You, you it's just no. I think Derek Chisora could probably be Joyce as well. The, 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 the Derek's too it's dangerous. dangerous for them. It's too dangerous. Unless these guys are able to fight seriously on the back foot, stay away from them. No, I'm saying at this stage of his career, Trill, at this stage of his career. I don't like, like, don't get me wrong. Latte can't take a punch. His conditioning is terrible. I'm saying he hit, probably hits harder than Stavern at this stage of his career. Stavern is shot to smithereens. Yeah, he was shot. Like completely, like he's been taken out back a few times, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he, he's, he's in bad shape. He's no gas tank. He's got no real commitment. He's tired. He gets tired after like what thirty seconds. He's plodding on his feet. His hands oh. aren't as fast. He doesn't throw those shots, and his chin is starting to fade. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'd pick uh, Larty to beat him, but I don't know. I think that'd be interesting, to be honest. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely so, man. Definitely so. Definitely so. Man, yeah, I feel sorry for Denair. I feel sorry for the tournament. There's one less belt in the tournament now. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. devastated, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so. Were you looking forward to Denair versus Ted Day? Because I was mad. Yes, hyped. I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was more hyped for that fight than I was for Estrada Rungvisui too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, great performance by Estrada though. Yeah, did very, very well against uh, an orthodox uh, Rungvisoy. Did shit against a Selpar Rungvisoy. <laughs> I don't know what Rungvisoy was playing at. I really don't understand what he was playing at. According to like some reports, uh, he said that he felt he was going to fight orthodox against Estrada because he thought that Estrada was training for a fighter who fought Selpar constantly. Yeah. Which, I mean, Rungvisoy, you can tell he, he can't fight. Orthodox. He's not a switch hitter. But uh, man. when he went southpaw, man, he was putting on a clinic. <laughs> yeah, he, he just dealt with um, Rungvisai's right hand back from the backhand stance. He dealt with that easy. He dealt with that easy, man. You know? I, I, was, I was disappointed with Rungvisai, man. I was, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. I have to say that. You know? But it was well, a decent this... fight, and I want to see the rematch. I want the trilogy, man. Oh, yeah, it has to be a rubber match now, isn't it? I guess, yeah. I'm guessing it has to be a rubber match. That would just make sense. But I'm going to get back on here for about 1 o'clock. Who, who, who's, who's on later, McGregor? Who, who's, who's on later? Just uh, well, Relic Progre is on. Okay. Relic uh, Progre. Uh, Denair versus Young is on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's the World Boxing Super Series. I mean, uh, let me actually tell you what the card is real fast. So Relic, fastest name I can type. Event. All right, so Pro Grey versus Relic. Okay. Denair versus Young. Young stepping in for um for Tete. Selena Barros, who I have no idea who that is, is fighting uh, Mel Melissa Hernan Hernandez. So that's two women fighting. Um. We have Mason Menard is on the card against uh, uh, David Paz. Menard should win that. The card's pretty shit, to be honest. So it's just the two main fights, man. Denair and Young and Progway Relic. Okay. What did you did you see um, Leron Richards against Tommy Langford, actually, before we wrap up? 
I thought I thought uh, Le- Leron Richards did well, man. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's a big step up. Tommy Langford's Lang- proven at British level. Langford, to me, he didn't look in the same shape at 168 as I've seen him at 160. He didn't look as ripped. I don't think he was as fit. I don't think he's a natural come forward fighter. And um, I, I, I'm not sold on Leron totally. He, listen, don't get me wrong. I saw some real good skills at times. You know, that up right, that right uppercut was a really good shot. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And in the 10th, he had, he had some great moments. They're saying that... Um, he just yeah, doesn't yeah. put it all together. Yeah. There's he a, does I, enough in each round. Uh, sometimes he's able to like change the tempo. That's something that's a really rare skill, in my opinion, where he's able to change the tempo of how his opponent fights. Like he can make his opponent rush his work and then slow him right down. That's good. Yeah. That is, that's a brilliant skill. I haven't seen stuff like that since, I'm going to be perfectly honest, like that type of thing since Floyd. Mm. But, high, high, yeah, a high, high um, benchmark there with Floyd. But, he's nowhere near as good, but I haven't seen somebody do that. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Since Floyd did it. They say he handled Eubank Jr. in sparring, apparently. And he, he wants that Eubank. For, but Eubank, you, that, that's going backwards for Eubank. This guy isn't even at, at British level, is he? He's not well, he just he just won a, he just won the the Commonwealth and the WBO international belts tonight. Eubank's gone beyond that beating James the Girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eubank's a world title. Yeah, uh, yeah. world title contender kind of guy. That's um, right. But Laron, it was a good win from um, beating Tommy. I mean, I mean, Tommy's got beaten twice by Jason Wellborn. I, I mean, mean, Jason Wellborn was beating the shit out of Jared Hoard for a few rounds. True, 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 true. I mean, people always say, "Oh, well, he got beat by a guy with a negative record." Yeah, well, he went in there and gave fucking Hoard a better fight than Harrison gave him. Well, no, true. not really, not really. But like you get you get what I mean. I like, you gave him a tough fight yeah. for a few rounds. Yeah, yeah. So you, do you right, do you think Laron can progress from here and get into the Callum Smith Eubank? You know, Cat- I'll, I'll 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 tell you my most honest opinion. Unless he climbs up, I will say. Let's say there's a ladder of ten steps. Yeah. Okay. Callum Smith's on the tenth step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eubank Jr.'s on the ninth step. The Ron Richards right now is on the fifth step. Okay. Unless he like unless he like doubles up like his shots produces more and moves in and out of range better, he ain't beating those guys in the pro ranks. He doesn't have the power to deal with them. He won't keep them off him. Yeah. Like we talk about that uppercut and everything, mate. Do you remember how good Groves' uppercut to the body was? Groves Gros got wet, man. And like, um, he's only got three stoppages, I think. I saw. Yeah, but remember how good George Groves' his uppercut to the body was. Groves got a few punches, man. He's got a few. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He done um Cox with that shot. Didn't yeah, he? that uppercut to the body. When people come in off the jab, he catches them with the uppercut to the body and takes it out of them. He did it to like, he, but when he was doing it against Callum Smith, eventually Callum Smith got through and knocked his ass out. Yeah. The size of Callum Smith, man. Well, well, Callum is a dangerous super middleweight, man. I, I, I um, I um, picked him to win the tournament, and him and Eubank. I picked either him or Eubank to win the tournament. I, I picked them to get to the final. Yeah. So, That's and then I, then I, I predicted in the final that Gro, uh, Groves would win, but I was proven wrong, and happily so. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love it when a when a prospect. <laughs> Turns to a contender, turns to a champion by beating a guy who did the same thing, turned from a prospect to a contender to a champion. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Leron Richards, um, let's be real, Eubank will maul him, mate. Who, Leron, yeah, you reckon? Eubank will, no offense to him, like he's a decent fighter. He's British level and a bit above. Maybe he can go to European level. But I'm, I'm sorry, but 
at the end of the day, the book stops at that world level. He's not a world level fighter yet. Nowhere near. And the main thing about it is, is he hadn't, he didn't have a very easy fight there against Tommy Langford, man. That wasn't easy. Eubank could go through Tommy Langford in two rounds. Yeah. So, so would Callum Smith if they wanted to. Like, of all the British guys at world level and stuff, do you, do you, do you think he could beat John Ryder, Leron Richards? I don't. That'd be interesting, but who's Ryder? No, oh yeah, um, the mute pulled out. Now, him and Ryder would be interesting. I think Ryder would box the brakes off. Of Leron? Yeah. I need to see more. I need to see more. This is his first step up, and it's Tommy Langford, which ain't bad. Yeah. I need to see a little more. He could be the goods, but the pa- I think the power, I think the power is, is um is going to be a problem. I, I think, think he should fight uh, Jamie Cox. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. I just looked in the chat as well. Someone actually said that just now as well. Is Jamie well, Cox still fighting though? Um, Jamie Cox. Yeah. Sure, he is for a few grand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Let's be real. Like he, when did he last fight Jamie Cox? I'll check on Box Rec now. Give us a sec. Ryder knocked him out. Ryder knocked him out, didn't he? Knocked out Jamie Cox. Yeah, he flattened yeah. him, man, in a couple of rounds. He flattened him uh, this time last year, fifth of May. Yeah, as I don't think he's been back in the ring since. No, but he was flatlined, like proper KO. Yeah, he did. He really flatlined him. Yeah. Man. Jam- I'll be honest. I think I think we can all agree. Jamie Cox and LeBron Richards. That'd be an all right fight for LeBron. Mm, I think um, Le- I think Cox needs a couple more warm ups. I mean, we could, you know, is uh, he- getting a bit of a tough go of it, isn't it? You know, mm. the-, the Groves fighting in that fight. Maybe he needs to needs to go down the pecking order a little and to pick his opponents. I think get a bit of confidence back. Let me have a think here. So Laurent's putting that super, isn't he? Super middle. Super middle, yeah. Jamie's not a super middleweight. That's his problem. No, he's not. He's not. What about um? Here's one for you. Maybe it, like if people want to talk about him with Eubank, and people want to talk about him fighting uh, Callum Smith. Why not fight Rocky Fielding? Who's that, Laurent? Yeah. That won't be a bad fight. That's not a bad fight. That's a good fight. Rocky can bang. Yeah, he can bang. He can bang. He can bang at the at domestic level. Yeah. I mean, he's knocked out Tyrone's wagon. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only people to beat him are Canelo and fucking Callum, Callum Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Other than that, he's beaten guys like Brophy, Tyrone's wagon. Like uh, Christopher Rabrassi. I'll yeah. have a terrible resume, man. He also beat uh, John Ryder via split decision. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That could be interesting. Marky Bayer says he's not hyped for the relic fight. He's a boring boxer. Really should win on points. I think says so. points question mark. I think relic would outpoint Regis. Mm. Thinks I feel bad for Denair, no more title fight. What do you think? The relic, um, reason? relic progre, yeah. You know what, man? I, I like the fight, I do like the fight. Relic can box and he can punch, he's definitely the biggest puncher progre has been in there with, in my opinion. He mixes it up high and low, he's got a good job, he can get boring at times, but it's when people say boring, they need to, they need to remember there's a method to his mad- madness sometimes. And what he likes to do is he likes to break up fighters' rhythm and catch them with like little shots when they're coming forward. He goes back, he pressures, he comes in. He's interesting. Pro Gray, he's fighting a real 140 pounder this time. It ain't Terry Flanagan. Yeah. You know what I mean, Beats? Flanagan, Flanagan not, not a good fighter, man. Uh, Relics only lost twice, and those two defeats. He didn't lose those fights. <laughs> he didn't lose. Well, the Ricky Burns fight, he definitely didn't win. I mean, didn't he didn't lose, I should say. He didn't no, win. he won that fight, but, you know, it happens. 
And the other one, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, I think it was to Rancis Bartholomew. Yeah. He lost that fight. I don't think he lost that fight, in all honesty. I had him winning in the first fight. And then in the rematch, he beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And beat him brutally to a decision. So, And then afterwards, he beat uh, Trojanovsky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, so really to me he beat Bartholomew twice to me he beat Trojanovsky he's beaten Ricky Bournes to me even though it's not there you know what I mean he's also beaten uh, Caniero and uh, they uh, Ariel Lopez should be a good fight man and Pro Grey is a high, highly touted uh, contender he's a contender now and this has the WBC Diamond Super on the line from Pro Grey and Relic is the WBA super champion. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Pro Grey wins tonight, he becomes the WBA super champion. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And then to culminate on May 18th to a fight I am going to with Josh Taylor versus Berlancic. Are you traveling all the way to Scotland? Yeah, I'm traveling all the way to Scotland, man. A 45-minute flight. <laughs> SSE Hydro. Yeah, the SSE Hydro. I'm go- like I've seen Taylor already in person. The main reason I'm going beats is I want to see a new way live. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to see what the fuss is about. I want to hear those body shots. You know. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It's not every Mikey- day you get to see a real pound for pound kind of fighter. You know. Mikey Bias as JoJo stands there with feet in the mud frame shot square on. Donovan Chilton, he says, what happened to the late, to the Tete fight out of the loop? Injured, coughing all night. Look at the top 10 in all the governing bodies. Does Dubois beat any of them right now? Hmm, let's have a quick look. What's the question? In the top 10 sanctioning bodies, does do in, in, in any of the three top um, sanctioning bodies, does Dubois beat any of the top 10? Let's right. have a quick well, let's go with the WBO first. I'll name them off to you, the top 10, yeah? All right. Fujimoto? Never seen him. Uh, I've seen him. I think the boss stops him. Okay. Number nine, Caballel in the WBO. I think that's very dangerous. Mm. Can box. He can box beats. Yeah. Can box. But we, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's beat Derek Chisora. Could be a dark horse. I'm looking through them all. Number eight in the WBO is Junior Fa, New yeah, Zealand but... prospect. Uh, 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 B. Parker in the amateurs. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hasn't fought anybody as a pro, though. New Zealand heavyweights don't excite me. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to come out and say it. Tyron Spong. I don't know, in the uh, senior. He, Spong is getting sponged. Zhang, that's the guy who Joshua beat. Jilly Zhang, yeah, man. He, he's all right, man. <laughs> Joshua beat that guy, didn't he? He did, yeah. He beat him in the L- L- London 2012. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, Oscar- I think he beat him at Worlds as well. Oscar Rivas could be wow. very dangerous. <laughs> Daniel, right? <laughs> very dangerous. Let's be, with the way Daniel, like the way Daniel was getting popularity, if that's Rivas, and we've seen Rivas has real KO power with what he did to uh, Brian Jennings. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be good night. Tyson Fury would have to, would have, would have had to have slipped awfully far for Daniel to beat him at this stage. Tyson Fury would, pro- I, I don't want to sell Daniel short. It's way too early. Tyson to have him bread and butter. Yeah. Number three with the WBO was uh, the band guy, Big nah, Titty. Nah, I'm not, not counting him. WB, yeah. WBO took him out of the rankings. He shouldn't actually be. Yeah. be not going to count him. Tom Schwartz. I think Dubois would be Schwartz. I mean, yeah. Gashi was beating up Schwartz. The Dillian White fight could be interesting, man. Uh, Daniel. Could be interesting. What happens if, uh, look, we know how good Dillian's chin is. That's tried and tested, proven, yeah? Yeah. What happens if uh, Dillian lands that left hook on Daniel's chin? Oh, he goes out because he's got no defense to it. He goes out. I think Dillian would pick a lot of holes in him. 
Yeah. I don't think Daniel would be able to do that one two straight down with Dillian. Dillian would have him like is Dillian's job, we need to remember, is a thing of beauty now. Yeah. It really is, because he was out jabbing Joseph Parker. Yeah, he was. He beat him in that fight because of the jab, and all the shots were set off of it. He did the same thing with Chisora, jab to the body, jab up high, jab to the body, took him out with a knockout. You think Takan would be too too early for the war? I don't know. I think Takam's he's just a lump, isn't he? Yeah. What rankings is there's a good fight, the IBF number ten, Michael Hunter. No, don't 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 put him in that it, it, he'll destroy Michael. I mean um he'll destroy him do what? Footwork. Just box circles around him. Footwork. Footwork would hurt would hurt Dubois badly. Footwork would hurt Dubois. Just he'd beat Otto Wallen. I've never I think I saw Otto Wallen the other day. I wasn't that impressed. Otto Wallen previously beat Adrian Grenat. Was, 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 was he Swedish or something? Yeah, he is Swedish. Yeah, well, I don't rate no Swedish heavyweights. <laughs> the and best Swedish heavyweight of all time wasn't even good. Oh, he was good. The guy who beat Patterson, what was his name again? Ingemar Johansson. Yeah, he was good. Ingo was good. He knocked out Eddie Machen, man. He was he was a decent contender. Uh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, you could punch. But he's not amazing. Oh, he knocked out Henry Cooper as well. All right, all right. I'll Maybe. concede. I'll concede. And Floyd Patterson. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His well, contender stuff was better than his championship, run. Yeah, what was that? What was that? Oh, he didn't hold the belt. He didn't manage to hold the belt, did he? Did he wrong. Uh, Patterson flattened him in the rematch. Yeah. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he then beat Patterson he again? Beat once. Are you sure he didn't beat Patterson twice? No, nope, three one, three one to Patterson. I think I think Patterson beat him about three one. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna. Ha I'm just gonna have to look it up just to make sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I need to cross my X's and O's here. Yeah, that's pretty much. Floyd Patterson, right? Mm -hmm. They fought three times. Yeah, two Floyd. one. I think two one. Yeah, two one. Okay, okay. Two one, two one, two one. I should say. Flattened him for Floyd. Flattened him twice, and you oh, your hands are flattened him once. Look at the names that he fought against in only that amount of fights. 28 fights, and he's got fights against Henry Cooper, mm -hmm. Eddie Metchin, Floyd Patterson. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. He's not, that Italian he's... guy who appears on everybody's resume in the 50s, Cavici. Yeah. He's not, he not Metchin that proper. Metchin took the list in the distance. Machin wasn't a joke. Machin was good. Machin was a good fighter. You know? Oh, he hit really hard. Don't get listening. Ingemar hit really hard. Oh, yeah. There's a reason it was called Thor's Hammer. Yeah, he hit really hard, man. Like his punch was called Thor's Hammer or the Hammer of Thor. The overhand right. If you caught you with the overhand right, it put you in trouble. Definitely put you in trouble. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ingo's bingo, they call it. Ingo's bingo. Yeah. All right, then. This is... My cue, jump out. I'll be back. We'll be back. You know what I mean? Peace out, lads. All right, then. Peace, McGregor. Peace to the chat. See you soon. <laughs>